So back again. Uh, just wanted to pop in real quick and give my thoughts on. I just watched the trailer for Rob Zombie's The Monsters, which I believe is a movie that's coming to Peacock or Paramount. One of the one of them that's uh, streaming. So coming to streaming. I don't think it's coming into movie theaters, and it's being released, I believe, in September. I, don't know, I just watched it, but. I was honestly kind of in a little bit of a state of shock watching most of it. Um, if that's a little prelude into, you know, foreshadowing of what my thoughts might be. Hmm. Something to get out there and preface pretty early on is the fact that I am not a huge Rob Zombie fan um, when it comes to movies. Uh, music, loved Rob Zombie growing up. Definitely uh, very, some very, very iconic songs. Uh, uh, very important part of my youth. A lot of it is Rob Zombie and Dracula and who knows what else. And unfortunately, to some extent, uh, some of his movies are part of my history as well. I Just quick side story, I know um, the first movie that I'm sure most of us seen, which I think was his first movie, was House of a Thousand Corpses from Rob Zombie. I remember going to the theater to see that. I believe I was in college and it was me and my buddy Cody. And I think... It was me and Cody, maybe his wife Vanessa as well. I'm not sure if, if it was. I'm sorry, Vanessa. Uh, but I remember because we had seen some trailers for it, and we, we were kind of, you know, like, okay, well, I mean, honestly, I think we were really excited to think back in the state of mind because, again, growing up with Rob Zombie, super excited about the music, and then, like, oh, this movie comes out, and it's just going to be like this horrible slaughter fest awesomeness, and it's, you know, going to be really cool. Um, so excited, gonna go opening night. I remember opening night opening weekend, and I remember my brother, Jesse, um, had seen it before I did, so it must have been, we must have gone a couple days afterwards, and he said, oh, it was awesome, and it's like, that's fantastic. So we went to see it, and I just remember, that I think that was the first movie that I either did walk out of, or seriously contemplated walking out of. Uh, I almost want to say I walked out of it, because honestly to this day I don't remember how that one ended. Because um, I haven't really gone back to rewatch it, which I might have to do at some point. As I start thinking about doing some different ranking lists and stuff like that. And I think to give things a fair shake I probably need to. But uh, I just remember walking out of the theater and then immediately calling or texting Jesse. I don't remember exactly what was uh, of the time. And telling him that he owed me money back for going to pay to see that movie. Uh, so I've not been a huge Rob Zombie fan. I think that there are some things that he does really pretty well. Like the look of some of his films is awesome. I mean, when you're going for grungy, kind of grimy, slaughterhouse, 70s-ish kind of stuff, yeah, you know, grindhouse movies, he does that really well. And honestly, some of the movies look really cool. And to a certain extent, I'm sure I'll talk about them at some point, but even the Halloween movies, especially the first one, uh, I do find some enjoyment in watching that one. Like, I will watch that if it's on. Uh, like, I've been traveling for work not that long ago, and I think, uh, like, the first Halloween Rob Zombie one was on TV. I mean, I don't have cable anymore here, so it's like I don't really normally stumble upon things. But I stumbled upon that one, and I watched it, and it's, you know, it's watchable. Um, the second one it gets a little, a little weird. I'll have to revisit that one, though. Either way, I have a relatively mixed bag, mostly bad mixed of uh, Rob Zombie films in my taste. So I've not even seen probably his last three or four movies. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I, all of that's just to preface the fact that I'm obviously not a huge Rob Zombie fan. So when I see the trailer for Monsters, which came out, which I was actually semi, I don't say excited, I'd say curious to see what was gonna happen just because, again, I'm not an avid fan. So uh, I was curious to see what happened. And I still don't know. I still don't know what I watched. It's. I'm still trying to figure out if it's an actual. I mean, I've. If it's a toss. If if it's meant to be, like it's filmed when the monsters was being filmed, like with the budget the monsters was, uh, the budget the monsters had. Um, it's the uh, I guess the love story of how Herman met met. Uh, Lily, Lily, Lila, Lily. I think it's Lily. Lily, um, with Grandpa in there, and uh, The Monsters is something I did grow up with and I did enjoy watching a good bit. I don't remember a whole lot of the different storylines, but uh, I remember what they look like, and this does look very similar to that, but it, it just, it's, it, I don't know if it's meant to just be a complete spoof, and if it's just like, okay, if the monsters were made now a days, but actually nowadays still in the 60s, or I don't know when that was supposed to be, 50s, 60s, something like that. Um, 
the sound is pretty bad. It sounds like they're filming on something like I film on. So there's an external mic maybe, but you know, not, uh, again, we'll have to see. The colors I actually kind of liked upon further review. Very bright, good colors, very vibrant. Um, depending upon what look you're going for. I mean, I know the Monsters was traditionally in black and white, I'm pretty sure, so it's kind of interesting, but maybe that's just because we haven't seen it before, but it did remind me a lot of just the old school Universal Monsters and the very bright colors and the ads that they used to have uh, back when I was growing up. So I did kind of like that, but it's very inconsistent with the color too, but maybe that'll come to fruition in the actual movie. Um, I don't know. I will actually say, uh, overall, the movie does look pretty bad and uh, pretty horrible. The acting, I don't know. Again. Rob Zombie's wife is in it as one of the leads, which, uh, in my viewings, has of uh, his other movies hasn't been a strong point. But hey, he's the director; his movie can do what he wants. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope that it actually does end up being like some sort of a classic. I was talking to uh, Amber, and um, we're both ult we're ultimately going to watch it now just because we're intrigued. So maybe the marketing is really good in that fact. That fact of just trying to get people to uh, think it's so bad that just tune in and see what it's about but maybe it'll be like a classic maybe like you know more like a kid's classic it's just something that's really fun for the family to watch your kids or a grown adult that's a child like me um, and find some joy in it so maybe it'll be really good but it did kind of kind of look like a play that was going on with some of the dialogue and how it was happening and the lack of camera motion but then it would speed up some things make it look like a TV show I don't know. I'm going to be very curious to see how that actually turns out, but they did have the Monsters theme song in there, which I thought was fantastic. So I'll say something positive about it. All right, I just wanted to give you my quick thoughts on that one and a little backstory with uh, my personal views on Rob Zombie films, for the most part. Um, there's definitely going to be some review lists coming up, and I'm sure Rob Zombie will be one of the ones that gets talked about pretty frequently as I talk about the best of and worst of certain genres or horror topics or subgenres, if you will. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I will say, inevitably, I am going to watch it now. But it might just be more of a curiosity. So we'll see. Did you guys watch it? What did you think? Uh, let me know. Like, share, subscribe.